Welcome back to Inside Games, the only gaming news show brave enough to put down the torches and celebrate Zelda. Ah, uh, yes, Bruce, finally. Oh, I'm so tired. My throat's hoarse. My arm has been holding up the pitchfork for so long. Finally, we can all stop <laughs> fixating on bad video game launches and celebrate a good game for once. Ah, I love Boss Nass. He's my favorite. Peace in our time, Lawrence, or at least... Until the next buggy game comes out, then we're all going to be yelling. Yeah, we got we got a solid week, maybe. <laughs> uh, but, Bruce, not all is exactly peaceful at Hyrule, as early leaks and frustration with Nintendo's dated hardware has led many to explore playing ways of Zelda that many would consider unnatural. <laughs> this is a good reference. That's, wait, I, I like these references a lot. Uh, do, do Boss Nass again. But yeah, some folks uh, effed around and found out that Nintendo's lawyers are not as happy as the reviewers. Mm, no, no, they're, you want to be on one side of that, that arrangement for sure. But we'll pack away all the video game intrigue until later. First, we got to cover all the good news. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is out. Its reviews are in. So let's see how they are. Oh, the answer is very, very, very good. You probably already know that. Uh, as reviewers tell it, Tears of the Kingdom is a game of the year contender, maybe game of the decade, Lawrence. Game of the game of all game. Game of game, Bruce. We got it. The game of game. The last time we checked, the game was at a 96 on Metacritic and 97 on Open Critic. That basically means virtually everyone loved it. Mm -hmm, that's correct. The scores are similar to what Breath of the Wild received six years ago in 2017, and that's now considered one of the best games ever made. I would agree. Uh, peace in our time! Peace! <laughs> For now, uh, the gamer called Tears of the Kingdom a masterpiece that not only equals what came before, it does everything in its power to surpass it. IGN gave it a 10 out of 10, saying it's, quote, an unfathomable follow-up, expanding a world that already felt full beyond expectation and raising the bar ever higher into the clouds. Reviewers noted that while the map is based on Breath of the Wild, it's been reinvented due to a cataclysmic event. Some towns have been destroyed and some new areas have popped up. Then, of course, there is a whole new sky map and an underground zone. That's right. As Destructoid put it, quote, key locations have been shifted around a bit. New areas are in and many old areas are remixed to the point where they feel different. And then there's also links to new abilities. You can rise up through the air and discover cool sky islands. You can manipulate objects and stick them together. Oh. And this is the real key, I feel like. You can combine items to make new ones. Oh. I can't wait. Yeah. That sounds so cool. Uh, and speaking of combining items, Lawrence, what do you get when you combine great taste and affordable nutrition? A flask of Soylent. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, nice job, Lawrence. A, a flask of Soylent, who's sponsoring today's episode of Inside Games. Today's episode of Inside Games is sponsored by Soylent, a convenient and affordable plant-based meal replacement. There's a reason Soylent is the drink of choice for professional games journalists such as ourselves. It just might be the ultimate gamer drink. It saves you time and money, the two resources you need to game as maximally as you can. Each bottle contains 28 vitamins and minerals, 20 grams of protein, and only one gram of sugar. All that packed into just 400 calories per bottle, making it the perfect meal replacement if you're trying to slim down, or, you know, some bonus nutrition that's really easy to fit into any diet. I'm trying to slim down for the Barbie movie right now. I want my abs to pop out of respect to Ryan Gosling. So, uh, Soylent is actually really gonna help me get there. It's also convenient. No cooking, no mess, just tasty and fast elimination of those annoying hunger pangs that we know are absolutely the reason you lost that last match. You won't be the only winner drinking Soylent either. Soylent itself was recently voted product of the year in the meal replacement category from a survey of 40,000 people by Kantar Research. So stop chewing your food like a caveman. Visit our link in the description and use code InsideGames30 to get 30% off your first order with Soylent. The first 500 people to use this link and code InsideGames30 will get 30% off their first order with Soylent. It's a great deal. Get on it right now. Thank you very much for the sponsorship, Soylent. That's that's what you need when you're deep in the gamer dungeons. Big flask of Soylent. All right, back to Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, Link has even more new abilities beyond just combination. You can now rewind time for specific objects, too. Oh, wow, I didn't know that, actually. Uh, can Link rewind our lives back to when we had days on end to play Zelda back when we were 16 years old? No, the answer is no. Not even Link can do that. <laughs> <laughs> the Verge wrote, though these are relatively simple powers taken together, they create infinite possibilities for how Link fights, flies, and puzzle solves his way through Hyrule and the Sky Islands above it. So, so this is, I can't wait. I just can't wait. I, I, I haven't played it yet. Uh, and it's that creativity that really sets Tears of the Kingdom apart for a lot of reviewers. Destructoid wrote that 
I was blown away at how many opportunities there were to create your own tools, vehicles, bridges, and more. Polygon's reviewer said that, quote, after playing for 70 hours, my brain is still awash with possible stunts, schematics, and concoctions that I haven't tried. Can't wait to get wash brain. I know. Zelda wash brain. <sighs> So while there have been some worries about performance on the very dated Switch hardware at this point, it's clear that it wasn't enough to affect Tears of the Kingdom's overall score. Which is good news. Uh, meanwhile, there's been a lot of drama behind the scenes with this game. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom leaked early, and Nintendo has aggressively gone after spoilers, taking down social media channels and Discord services promoting leaked footage. Yeah, our fr good friend of the show, Alana Pierce, even got a DMCA strike on her own Twitch channel for reacting to Skillup's Zelda preview video. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, they're getting a little, getting a little trigger that might happy be, That might there. be a little much. Uh, Kotaku reported on some of the leaks, which uh, led to outcries from some fans who accused the site of being unprofessional and taking revenge for Nintendo, supposedly putting it on a blacklist. Yeah. Uh, Kotaku's Luke Plunkett replied to the whole ordeal with the usual games media class by tweeting a photo of a World War II fighter pilot with several downed Japanese fighters stamped on the plane, along with the caption, for the record, this is how I feel about publisher blacklists. Nice. <laughs> I hope he like twirled his cape at his computer when he did that. <laughs> Meanwhile, rumors of a new Switch continue to swirl, but Nintendo says we shouldn't expect new hardware in 2023, pretty obvious, or to be specific, that Nintendo hasn't factored a new hardware launch into their expected revenues for this year. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, that means we got to play Tears of the Kingdom on the same old rickety dusty Switch until at least April 2024. Blech. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, in the meantime, Nintendo continues to sell the other Switches and the Switch OLED, which is not more powerful at all. Uh, according to Nintendo's latest sales figures, they have sold 125 million Switches as of March 31st, 2023 which is incredible. But President Shutaru Furukawa warned that sustaining the sales momentum will be difficult in its seventh year. Yeah, it usually is. Uh, but we could be looking at a new Switch next year, <laughs> though. That's not too far away, is it? Yeah, it is. Nikkei Asia reports that a new console is in the works and could be ready in 2024. It can't be later than that, can it? Oh, God. No, it's not, it's not going to be later than 2024. Uh, I can't. Uh, citing a source close to Nintendo, Nikkei Asia wrote that, quote, development seems to be progressing well on a Switch follow-up, but that, quote, product launch won't happen before next spring at the earliest, which is what we predicted in a previous video, Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. If, if you follow Nintendo's financials and uh, specifically their guidance for their next year, it's pretty easy to tell when they expect to be making a lot of money. Uh, which kind of leads to the, maybe the one thing that's not the best about this whole situation. Bruce, how do you feel like playing Tears of the Kingdom on old, old, old hardware? So you and I have been talking a little bit off camera about the way we're going to play Tears of the Kingdom. This is the only, first and only time I was thinking, I was like, should I emulate this? Because it's, is it going to be so bad that I need to put this on the PC? Like, obviously I'll buy the game. I'm not going to do it illegally. But do I need to put it on the PC so that I can play it, you know, the way I want to play it uh, at 60 FPS, which I is probably not the way Nintendo wants me to play. Nintendo probably wants it at 30 FPS. Uh, and when is Nintendo going to advance? Like, what? Why? Uh, why are they trying to hold me back? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. I, to me, this is only again. Nintendo's an incredibly smart company, so this is only a money grab. They are doing this so that they can release this game on the old Switch and then they're going to charge us for it on the new Switch with performance upgrades. It's going to happen. Um, so it's a money grab, in my opinion. That said, we're all going to do it because the game's, I mean, by all accounts, amazing. Yeah, yeah. As usual, Nintendo design overcomes all of the annoyances involved with using their hardware. In this case, it's relatively direct. We don't have to waggle anymore, so there's that to play <laughs> Zelda. But yeah, boy, boy, it's... Because I, I have been playing Breath of the Wild emulated lately, and it is transcendent. It's frustrating how, like, the, the art and design that go into Breath of the Wild and, and from the sounds of it, Tears of the Kingdom, are so amazing, but you kind of have to look at it through smudgy glasses when you're playing it on mm -hmm. a Switch. So to see the developers and all of their great ideas and great artwork and great animation in high resolution at high high frame rate, it's it's incredible. 
And that makes it such a bummer that their work is sort of trapped on this platform. Now, someday it might not be, and I'm very excited for that. And yeah, I'd pay 20 bucks to upgrade to tiers. Uh, Nintendo doesn't seem to do that, though. Maybe they could start, but... Yeah, I mean, maybe I, I would be really surprised if they didn't release, like, an upgraded version of this or some, maybe some DLC or whatever uh, on the new Switch when that comes. Because I mean, there's going to be a new Switch, and it's probably going to be in 2024. So uh, this might be the first time they do it. You know, we'll see. They're, they, I think they see uh, all the money from Skyrim and GTA V and all those other games that they've released over, a th- you know, Last of Us where they keep releasing it on uh, different platforms. And the Switch obviously doesn't move to PC, but they're going to have two new Switches. Or, I mean, one new Switch, so they're going to have the old and the new. So then you can charge for both. Wow. Yeah. And and the way that Sony has coordinated launches for, like, Uncharted and Last of Us, uh, the way that, like, the Witcher show and the cyberpunk anime spiked sales of the game, Nintendo's got a Zelda movie on the way, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. So yeah. why wouldn't they have their most recent Zelda on new hardware with an upgrade patch so it's looking nice and pretty but i don't want to wait for a zelda movie for that that's got to be like at least two years away <laughs> oh, i and really it, hope that they're not getting down that lane where they're willing to delay product and delay things just so it lines up with other promotional opportunities but that may be where they are i think they, <laughs> yeah, be, might, I think be they might be doing that they're no, very no, very no, no, they're no, a no, smart no. company they're a very they smart are, company yeah. they know how to make a lot of money uh, and they are definitely not trying to make you personally happy. They aren't. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but these patrons for the Inside Games Patreon are definitely trying to make me happy because they're supporting our Patreon. Nick Calderon, Scotty Ryan, Raulo, and Ray Pichardo. Well, that's funny, Bruce, because I got some patrons that are making me very happy. They're like my own personal oh. fairy in a bottle. Whenever I need to be happy, I just think about them. Dan Halloran, Keita White, Xander, and Dougal Tutbo. Thank you all very much. So, Lawrence, one thing we should talk about that maybe we don't talk about enough is that we are creating gamer memes here on Inside Game. These, it's true. these travel the internet over uh, for everybody, for all to see, but they're only for our patrons. A whole treasure trove of ancient gamer texts for you to peruse. Uh, here's a pretty topical one. Tastefully censored because it might be too hot for YouTube. Uh, it, really, honestly, we might get demonetized. And also, uh, this for the patrons. <laughs> it's not. It's for the patrons. It's not for people on YouTube. We want your patronage. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot of other benefits too. An exclusive podcast where Bruce reads some stuff. Bruce That's read right. a deep tome from Dream this time. <laughs> that one hasn't been published yet, but it will be soon. Uh, Ad free episodes. So you yeah, know, check it out. Uh, you can find our link. <laughs> Zelda! Yeah, that's it. That's the one uh, in the description. So please check it out. And hey, you know what? Have fun with Zelda, everybody. Finally! Peace! Peace! <laughs>